Beautifully uh, held. Thank you very much. Without a shake of the hand. <laughs> it's actually one of the reviews, it's, I think one of the um, Rolling Stone reviews, says this is the happiest sounding album you've made. Would you agree with that? Well, I think when people say happy, I usually try to turn it into positive. I think it's a very positive sounding yeah. album. There's a lot of hope. You know, there's a lot of anger and, and bitterness, but there's also a lot of hope and joy as, as well. It just feels like a much more whole album, really. It's not as black and white as a lot of the others have been, and it's kind of all the different shades of colour in between. It's very kind of full sounding. Mm. Uh, in terms of uh, you, you limited live performance, this year on the, on the back of this. What, what, are, what are the plans there? What are the thoughts there? Well, I actually start... I've been doing a few shows. Yeah. I've been doing a, quite a few kind of secret shows just really to keep my band and, and myself um, on top of the songs because we've rehearsed all the songs. We're all ready. Um, but at the moment, we're just doing like two months of sort of promotional things so you yeah. only get to play one or two songs on TV shows. So I am doing little secret shows here, there and everywhere. I've done some in America, a um, couple here. But I actually start touring properly in January and it'll go right through until after the summer festivals. So probably be in England in February and March. That's a, a big long slog, an it's enjoyable one before. as well. I mean, how, do you, how do you look forward to it? I mean, I love performance. It's what keeps me going, really, um, is to, you know, to be on stage. I feel very at home and it's a place for me where the songs just make sense and I remember why I'm doing this in the first place. So. You know, that kind of keeps you going through all of the hard times and the travelling, which can be very draining. Mm. The festivals must be good fun to festivals do. Festivals are I mean, wonderful. They're... I love them because it's so nice to feel like a small part of a large yeah. daily, daily event. You know, it's not like every, all the focus is on you. And I do feel that there's a lot of spirit between the different artists there as well of kind of supporting each other. And it's, it's a good feeling. But you hear about the, the village at festivals, the, people, the actual artist village where, where you're all based. And fair enough, a lot of you do stay there and, and don't go out into, into the throng so much. Do you, do you ever venture out? There? I do. I always do, actually. Because yeah. I, I like, I love the festival so much. In fact, when I was a young girl, my, my mother and father are both huge music fans. And we used to go to festivals all the time camping. So it's really nice for me because I know, I know what they're like. I know mm. how they work. And I, you know, I always go out. You know that baked potato stand well. Oh yes, well. I do. <laughs> uh, and, and the hot red wine. Mm. <laughs> um, so, what was your first Glastonbury? Do you remember that? Oh, first Glastonbury, I was probably about nine. Yeah. Wow! Yeah. What, and you went you with your parents there. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I can remember we went to see a band called Pete Thomas and the Deep Sea Jivers, uh -huh. which were friends of theirs. <gasps> but uh, Susie and the Banshees were also playing. Who I saw then. Oh, excellent! Susie and the Banshees at Glastonbury. Yeah, that would have worked. A mm -hmm. treat. Yeah. There you go. I can remember being terrified of her, actually, because I, I was only about nine. I thought she was the scariest woman I'd ever seen. Yeah, I thought that well, about yeah, well. just the, Yeah, but the look of it, though. I mean, I remember seeing her on the street years and years ago. And, I mean, she just looked so amazing, mm. though, didn't she? Well, she, she still like, does. Oh. You know, I saw her play just last year. Woman. Incredible. She's got such charisma and strength on stage. It's amazing. <laughs> OK, well, uh, look forward to uh, your live shows coming up in the meantime. Yeah, let us know the dates. We'll yeah, we'll do. I'll know that as soon as I know. It'd be great. OK. Good to see you. Thanks so, so much for coming thanks, in. Thanks, thanks for having Look me. after yourself as well. Will do. No more of those What's that hotel food? Yeah, exactly. Stick exactly. To VH, I always say stick to VH1 food, but I say yes, it's fine, it's great. <coughs> <coughs> no, it is. <laughs> do you want something a little bit live in your living room now?